What? What? Hi. What? Hey, Northumberland. Hi. <laughs> I'm John. I'm Chris. And we are two thirds of the fidgets. And we're pumped about seeing you guys coming up really, really mm -hmm. soon uh, in February. So buy your tickets. It's going to be a crazy show, family friendly improv. And at the very end, we're actually going to blindfold ourselves and walk barefoot on mouse traps that you guys sell. Live so mouse traps. Get on it. The record is 434, and we heard a rumor that you guys couldn't beat that. So, what do you think of that? John said it. I think he I, can. I did say I that, actually. I think he can. Speaking of record breakers, I'm looking forward to seeing my good friend, Kevin Otter. Kevin Otter mm -hmm. uh, has a, a, a world record for making waffles while on a unicycle. That's amazing. Yeah. He made 37. That's in how long, though? 17 hours. Okay. Well, I mean, just lead that part. It's, just, it's impressive. It's for just what it new. Is. It's a new thing. No, it's it's good. Um, ben Snoke actually is uh, is a, an actual waffle maker. He runs the International House of Pancakes. All of them. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't um, it be International House of Waffles? Uh, no, no. I how? No. See, he was going to do the waffle All thing. Right. And uh, weirdly enough, it, it just sounds weird when you say it on the sign. I hop just sounds so much better. No. And he's got one leg, so, you know. Wow. Hey, speaking of hopping, yes. Uh, my good friend Larissa Caulfield. Mm -hmm. Here's why I'm looking forward to seeing her. Every time I see her, she gives me a rabbit. Every time. Every single time. Is that why you have that half a rabbit? It's kind of weird. <laughs> I was hungry. No, I know. But <laughs> and rabbit tastes good. They do. Mmm. That's weird. Um, Trish Davies is actually a big rabbit fanatic, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say now that. How do you mean fanatic? Well, okay, so she used to actually raise small rabbits uh, when she was younger, and um, about that. They were dwarf rabbits, and uh, she didn't understand the concept of dwarf rabbits, so she would give them little armors and helmets and shields and stuff like that, and do dwarven chants um, while watching Lord of the Rings, and, and the, the rabbits just got so confused, and they, they left, and it was a... There's Bad there's time. nothing as sad as a distraught rabbit in in dwarven armor. Yeah, Trish was pretty bummed. <laughs> but speaking of uh, shields and helmets, mm -hmm. there's actually, you guys don't know this, one of the original Canadian superheroes yeah. works at your school. Oh. She was the model for Thor. Huge hammer. Yeah. Doesn't put up with anything. Wilma Van Barneveld. She's dangerous and amazing. She swings hammers? Oh, yeah. She's got... It's not even a hammer. It's like a... What's bigger than a hammer? A sledgehammer? A sledge hammer. What's bigger than a sledgehammer? A sled? A sled. It's a sled hammer. Weird. Yeah. Actually, um, did she work for Jeremy? Jeremy Holden? Probably. He does a construction company. He He's a good friend of mine. We've been friends for, I don't know, at least 35 years. And I'm 32, so that's weird. But his construction company was so good, they built 18 houses in 18 hours. There was 300 guys working on this project and mm -hmm. 250 women, uh, 18 kids. Um, oh, sorry, it was 1,800 kids. That's right. Um, it, it closed down because he had a lot of child labor and stuff. Oh. But not like that. It was all just family and stuff, but it still was kind of washy, and also the houses kind of fell apart. So. It, kids can't, can't swing can't hammers. House kids can't swing hours. hammers. That's really what it comes Concrete down to. Concrete won't even set in 18 hours. That's true. Yeah, that kid found that out. His leg got stuck for like at least an hour and a half. <laughs> Lost a shoe. It's all right. Speaking of an hour and a half, that's yes. how long the show's going to be, and we're uh, looking forward to seeing you guys. We love you. Bye.